Hi artists, today we're going to make an artwork inspired by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Jean-Michel Basquiat was a very famous painter who is known for doing more abstract arts with expressive lines. And today we're going to be making one of his artworks, the dinosaur. We're going to start by drawing a crown. Jean-Michel is known for drawing crowns in his artworks. I start with two parallel lines, a line to connect the bottom, and then a zigzag line on top. That is a symbol you'll see in a lot of Jean-Michel's artworks. Now I'm going on to drawing the dinosaur. I draw a hooked diagonal line for the top of the head And next I'm going down to the back or the spine of the dinosaur all the way to the tail. I'm going to add in his lower jaw by making an L shape, a little neck, and I'm going to draw two arms. This dinosaur resembles a T-Rex and they have two short little arms. Next, I'm going down to his belly and right into his foot. You can see my leg, drawing a line for a foot and his other foot, which I made spiky like claws. Then I can connect that last foot to the tip of the tail and that's the outline of our dinosaur. Now I'm going to go in and add some details. I'm gonna create those sharp teeth, some eyes, I noticed in Jean-Michel Basquiat's artwork. He has some shapes inside of his um, dinosaur. Next I'm going to add some spikes onto the back of the dinosaur. <clears throat> and this artwork doesn't have to be perfect. As you might have noticed from his artwork, it's very expressive. And he does his artworks fast. Now I'm just adding in a little bit of color to his spikes. You may want to add in some nostrils to the dinosaur. And then you can go in to coloring it all in the way you'd like. I'm trying to do it more like his artwork with these fast, quick lines and just coloring in the whole dinosaur black. But your dinosaur can be green or blue or orange, whatever color you would like it to be. Usually we really take our time to color in this artwork. You really don't have to do that. You can go quick and use expressive lines to fill in your dinosaur. And I'm just going to continue to add in some details, add in, and really just color it in the way I'd like. You can use any materials for this project. You can use crayons, oil pastels, colored pencils, markers, anything you'd like. You could use watercolors to add a cool background. That's up to your teacher and what you have available in your classroom. You could cut out your dinosaur and maybe make it into a little dinosaur puppet.
And I just want to remind you as we're getting to the end of this project that um, Black History Month is coming to an end and we're celebrating it by doing this artwork, but that we can continue to celebrate Black History throughout. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some really amazing contemporary, which means still working and alive today, black artists that we can celebrate throughout the year and look at their artwork and really appreciate it. So here's my dinosaur. Um, I hope yours comes out amazing. Now let's look at these artists. Some other artists we're going to celebrate is artists like Kahinde Wiley, who did President Barack Obama's portrait, his presidential portrait, and his artwork is just beautiful portraiture. We can also look at Shayna McCoy, who's known for using really thick paint and textures in her artwork. You can see the paint coming off of her artwork. And lastly, Faith Ringgold, she does quilting in her artwork, and she's made some really amazing books. I hope you have an awesome Friday, and I can't wait to see all your dinosaurs. Happy Friday, Croft!